It's GPs like Dr. Fari Ahmad who are at the sharp end of the growing dissatisfaction with the NHS, a practice that has 16,000 patients on its list, but which has seen funding fall and where they're just as frustrated as the people they serve. I feel sad, um, but I'm also, you know, not surprised. It really isn't rocket science. It isn't. You know, if you fund the service less, you'll get less results. People are now, you know, healthcare. If you get the preventative stuff done, if you work and put the funding early, you gain the rewards. And the story here is playing out across the country. In January, for example, there were four million more GP appointments than there were in the same month four years ago. That despite the fact there are 3% fewer doctors to fulfill those appointments. The Royal College of GPs says it can't keep on doing more with less. It all feeds into a feeling of continual crisis. Among those who said they were dissatisfied with the NHS, 71% said it was because of long waiting times for a GP or hospital appointment. 54% said they were upset due to staffing shortages. And 47% said it was because of a lack of government spending on the health service. It is all a clear measure of the frustration people feel. Waiting times for GPs are, are getting longer and longer. It's getting harder to see people. I still think when you get there, if you, when you're having treatment, the staff are great. I think it's quite frustrating to be angry at the NHS when you know that the kind of issues there are not because of the work that they're doing. It's just the lack of funding. Not getting paid enough, I think. Footballers kick a ball about and get loads of money. What do they get? Nothing. And they save lives. And the report's author says this is about more than statistics. What the survey doesn't measure is just the emotional cost, the societal cost of having an NHS that people are increasingly concerned might not be there for them when they need it. And I think if you speak to friends and family, if you speak to people working in the service, that's a real fear. The Department of Health and Social Care pointed to what it said was record spending on the NHS and progress in cutting waiting lists and increasing GP appointments. The report did find strong support for the founding principles of a free NHS available to everyone. People don't want the model to change, it said. They just want it to work. Greg Milam, Sky News.